Bards, uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of a review from a piece of equipment that I've ordered from um, Australia. Um, it's an outfit over there called Thermoguard Instruments, and uh, they sell a piece of equipment that um, measures your exhaust gas um, temperature. Um, the chap over there is really helpful, a fellow called Ian Peterson. Um, I called him up and he's a sort of uh, evidently a Land Rover owner and a very helpful person. So the vehicle we're going to be talking about is the 300 TDI engine and uh, this is the, the EDC1 electronic diesel control. Uh, I'm going to do a few little articles um, on YouTube just covering a few aspects of um, these units um, but today we're going to focus on this Thermoguard uh, instrument here. Um, I ordered it direct uh, from Australia, used PayPal, and um, what I will say is that um, the quality of the equipment is top class. You can tell, um, sort of, when you open it up, that it's a, a really good unit. You get a good set of comprehensive instructions, which you can see here um, from it. And um, installing the unit is really quite simple. Um, I bought the full kit. Um, for me, including the um, unit that you uh, connect onto the uh, exhaust manifold. I've taken off the exhaust gas regulator thing, which most people do, because um, you don't need it. This is a probe um, that's going to fit into the um, the exhaust um, manifold just above the turbocharger, and that's where um, Ian sort of recommends that you fit it for optimum um, um readings um i will note that there are some excellent um technical publications that ian does on the um uh, the diesel unit talks about turbochargers difference between compression ignition engines and um your um your uh, uh, petrol engines um where you're allowing on a spark for it so this is a unit that's going to fit onto here uh, it's purposely designed it comes with a gasket straight swap over and it's also got the housing uh, for the temperature probe unit um, which is here and evidently that sort of fits in to there then into the um, exhaust manifold um, like I said the instructions are comprehensive um, but it does rely on a certain little bit of um, technical um, knowledge in terms of how to fit it really simple to run the wiring in for this uh, basically all I've done is, is picked a nice route across the, uh, the firewall there and I just come in just above the um, uh, vacuum hose for the um, cruise control unit followed it in taking a nice route once I've got all this fitted in I'll tie wrap it up make sure it's all nicely fed in I just like to see things nice and neat um, the unit itself um, there's two ways you can sort of um, fit it. It comes in like a bit of a casing that you can either fit um, onto your dash or uh, wherever your seal fit, or you can actually pull the unit out, which I'll just demonstrate now. Uh, hopefully this will come up on the video. You just have to excuse me. You can actually pull the unit out, and if you want, you can cut a hole and fit it in. What I'm going to opt for for the time being is, is um, I'm not going to um, chop into the dash of the Land Rover, I'm basically going to uh, find a, a place where I can sort of um, stick this unit internally um, just because if I sell the vehicle I just want to take it out. So what I've, what I've done inside here is um, my unit is fitted with um, the cruise control uh, unit here which is uh, I've taken it off and um, what I'm going to do is I want to piggyback off two of the wires to supply power to this unit and um, just basically um, so when I uh, um, power it up it's all on the ignition switch so all I've done here is is um, it's quite simple and a really easy job to do you've got an earth here and um, this green and yellow wire that runs into the back of um, the cruise control unit is the 12 volt supply so it's a really simple job if you've got this in and because all I'm going to do is piggyback the two wires um, onto the um, the earth and the and the power unit, and then I'll tuck all these wires up inside there, plug that back into that unit, and then push this unit back into there, and you wouldn't even know that you've tapped into it. And if I do sell the truck, 
I can just remove this unit, take the wires out, and you wouldn't know any different. With regards to the exhaust um, temperature uh, input, all I simply did here uh, is root it through. You can see the wire here. Run it through, and I've just fed it nice and neatly for the time being um, inside the um, plastic shroud that um, covers the uh, transmission tunnel. And again, I'll just run these wires in uh, the back of here and um, tuck them away nice and neatly, fit the unit, and then all I'll do then is coil the excessive wires up behind the back of the dash and it'll be a nice neat job and I'll just do a little bit of a video once the installation's done. Um, so just to have a recap uh, really, um, again you can see the quality of the product being supplied is very high class. It's not a cheap uh, uh, um, um, material that Ian's used to put this together, really professionally done and nice and neat. Very easy to install uh, from it, and once I do get it installed, what I'll do is um, um, show you all up and running. What I'm going to do for the time being here is I'm going to fit I'm going to fit this unit actually under here. Just going to do it on a piece of Velcro um, and attach the unit just under the dash. Uh, two pieces of Velcro, and I'll just leave it sat there. And I think it'll actually sit there and look quite nice when it's up and running. Um, um, I don't really use that drink holder thing, I think they're just a, a gimmick and uh, half of the time it's all over the place anyway if you do use them. So I think that's going to sit there nice, it'll sort of complement the dash, uh, it won't look too out of place and it also allows me to access some really easy wiring there and um, by doing that it keeps it nice and simple, I'm not chopping into the loom and um, overall when it's sort of installed you would think it was actually part of the vehicle. Uh, with it so I'll sign out now and then what I'll do is I'm just going to do another few little video clips as um, I progress the installation so you can see it in stages so that's the end of the video for now I hope you find it useful and a big thank you to Ian there in Australia for all his help and support and um, when I give him a call very helpful I would recommend um, um, uh, you know if you're into, into your Land Rovers your 2 your 300 TDI's installing these and I'll do a little bit more about the uh, benefits of um, why it's important to know your exhaust gas uh, temperature uh, once the um, installation is uh, fitted.